Anonymous Batgirl actor allegedly very offended over film's cancellation says Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav is an imbecile and his cowardice is breathtaking. Somebody is very, very offended. And you know what that means, everyone? We need to cater to their feelings, right? That's how this game is supposed to work. Let's get into this entire crazy story. Because what this actor is slinging against Warner Brothers for canceling the Batgirl fil film, which was a total woke disaster. This is all hilarious stuff. Let's get into this. While most of the Batgirl's cast and crew have responded to its surprise cancellation with begrudging, or at worst frustrated acceptance, an anonymous actor who had a bit part in the film had chosen to take a different route and allegedly voice their opinion. So let's see what they have to say here. Responding to an August 6th column on the Batgirl debacle by IndieWire's Eric Cohn, where he uh, acknowledged that while the decision to scrape the film may have been somewhat unfair to its cast and crew, filmmakers should view all studio experiments with caution. An actor who reached out on the condition of anonymity uh, for informed the outlet's executive direct editor and the VP that they had felt a considerable amount of comfort and sincere sadness. Reading your excellent article and the ex examination of this whole nightmare which like i said it was a woke disaster it was going to be a complete failure which is why it got canned the multiple streaming avenues and their vague uh, guarantees appear anything but secure to this end the actor asserted i am very offended by what happened and feel terrible for the directors and leslie grace who are all wonderful wonderful to work with as well as all of the technicians. It was an enormous, rewarding challenge to make this movie during COVID and during the cold weather in Glasgow. None of these things matter to an imbecile like Zaslav. His cowardice is breathtaking. I am glad I got to participate, and I wish the best for all those involved, except the suits at Warner Brothers, but they all got get replaced sooner than later. Which, you know... We have to keep in mind that the suits at Warner Brothers are the ones that literally are putting the money behind this film. So keep that in mind. They really do have the right to shelve or not shelve anything that they want. And if they think that this film would be a much better profit by just making it a tax write-off than actually releasing it, well, it turns out that that was probably the wise decision to go with. Because this movie, from everything that we've heard from a screen test and everything else, basically said that it was an unwatchable disaster, which is a hilarious way of phrasing what kind of a dis uh, garbage this movie was supposed to be. So this person is going on a complete meltdown because Warner Brothers is making a wise business decision. It's going to be interesting to see if this is going to be a moment where Warner Brothers is kind of starting to wake up to see that going woke does make you broke and it is not profitable. So we'll see what happens with this. Honestly, I don't think it's really going to cause a lot of change because I think that a lot of the woke stuff that Hollywood has continued to push is coming from a place more sinister than just money and trying to make uh, a profit i think that a lot of it is more based on ideology and worldview than it is on money and everything else but we'll see what continues to happen so let me know what you think in the comments below leave a like subscribe i'd appreciate that a lot and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon